Hi guys, it's Cindy aka Disney Queen. Today I'm sharing part two of my first ever trip to Walt Disney World when we went back in 1998. And when I first started working on the videos and I started going back and looking through pictures, I realized that I did have actual video of our trip and I wanted to include that in the video. But by the time I finished, it was very long. So that's why I'm breaking it up into two parts. So I really hope that you enjoyed this part two of our first ever trip to Walt Disney World. It was the only time we stayed in the park during that time. I forgot one of the things that was at Magic Kingdom at the time that is no longer there was Snow White. We rode Snow White, we rode um, Pinocchio, we rode Small World. Like we rode a lot of the original rides. Um, Mr. Toad's Wild Adventure was there. I think that's what it's called. But we didn't ride it because I heard that it was kind of crazy and I didn't think the kids could handle it. So we never got a chance to ride that. And I wish now that we had ridden it. I don't think we rode Dumbo the very first time that we went to Magic Kingdom, but we did get on the carousel. I do remember that. And I had to go back to see. I'm looking at a map that we had back at the back in 1998 um, that I had printed off that had a lot of the rides. So I knew what rides to ride. I knew to go early to the park and then take a break and then go back to the park. So we did Magic Kingdom two days, not two days in a row, but we did do Magic Kingdom on two occasions. We got to ride the Jungle Cruise. We got to ride Pirates of the Caribbean. Like we did most of the major rides. And I, to this day, I say it's because we planned. Well, cause I planned. And that's actually how I got the nickname Cindy, AKA Disney Queen. Because by the end of our trip, my family was like, you really, really planned this well. And I don't think we would have seen as much if we had just, just walked in not knowing anything about the parks. So that's actually how I got the name that I have. By the time we had finished our trip, we had seen almost all of the rides at Disney that we wanted to see. Um, at Magic Kingdom, we even went on the Country Bear Jamboree. We went to the Liberty Square and saw the presidents. I don't remember who, I think Bush might have been the president at the time. I wasn't sure at the time, I'm not a big animal person, so I wasn't sure at the time that I would enjoy Animal Kingdom, but we did do, uh, I can't even remember the original name, but it was like a Pocahontas um, storytelling time, and my kids enjoyed that because they got to sit up front. And listen to the story and uh so we enjoyed that uh let's see what else did we do at animal kingdom we did bugs life which my family actually liked and my kids weren't afraid of we did do dinosaur i believe dinosaur was open then and it wasn't as bad as i thought it was gonna be but it wasn't like my favorite ride until I did it a couple of times more. We did the safari, which I loved. And to this day, I love. 
And at the time when Animal Kingdom first opened, the one of the things, and I think I've said this before in videos, one of the things I really loved was that they had people from Africa. So our very first safari, Kilimanjaro safari ride, we had a guide who was from Africa. And that's when they did kind of like the little funny skit um, where it looks like the poachers are getting ready to, you know, come after you and you're running, racing through the, um, the safari. And he was just a great guy. The added effect of him having his accent, like it made you feel like you were really on a safari. So that was like the highlight of Animal Kingdom for me. So that was the part of Animal Kingdom that I loved. I didn't like the heat. We really didn't go and, um, and see a lot of the animals cause it was just too hot in the middle of July. But the one thing that I'd really liked was the safari. We liked Bugs Life. We eventually liked Dinosaur. My first experience at MGM. Now, at the time it was called MGM. and there were so many things to do and we didn't have to get on any of the fan crazy rides we like star tours i uh, didn't think i was gonna like it but i ended up liking it so but my favorite thing about mgm was the backlot tour they also had 101 Dalmatians. And so we went to see that. Jim, I cannot remember what Jim Carrey's ride was. I'm gonna have to go back and do a little bit of research as to like some of the, the actual rides that were available in 1998. Um, but the Backlot Tool was my favorite. I love the fact that you went and it looked like you were in New York City and I love getting on the little tour uh, train and it took you around. And then the little part where the cannon, when you're in the cannon and then the water comes down on you and there's fire and like, I still miss that to this day. That was one of my favorite things to do. Um, we never got picked because, you know, they always I don't know if you remember the first part of it. They would always have like this um, little presentation and they would pick people to be down there up front for the presentation part when you were just kind of sitting before you got up and got on the tram ride. Into the distance, and he fires torpedo right through the mouth of the 
But it was always a must do for us. Uh, we went to see um, the Muppet Vision 3D for the first time. Love that. I'm just a classic ride person, guys. I love all of the classics. I'm trying to think at the time Tower of Terror was there, but it was a couple of years before my son got on Tower of Terror because the rest of us have never ridden it. So there are a few things I have not done at Disney. That would be one of them. And I've never gotten on the um, roller coaster. We got to see, I want to say Beauty and the Beast was there at the time. So we got to see Beauty and the Beast. If it wasn't Beauty and the Beast, it might have been. There used to be a hunchback of Notre Dame. Uh show at MGM and I'm not positive it would if it was then or later and there was another show at MGM I'm really gonna have to do some research and see if I can remember some of the things that was there now we get to my favorite part of going to Disney and that was Epcot the moment that my family walked into Epcot was the moment it became our favorite park
I don't think Test Tracks was up that year in 1998. I'm not positive, but we rode space. We rode um, not Space Mountain. I've never ridden Space Mountain. Looking back now, when we went to Epcot, I do believe Test Tracks was up, and it was the old Test Tracks with the dummies and. Um, all the car parts and things in the little um, area that you wait in before you go on the ride. Uh, at the time, Imagination had the original Figment ride. Um, so we got to meet Figment and why can't I remember the guy who was with Figment? But he was standing out front of the Imagination ride and he had a Figment puppet. And my kids interacted with him. There was imagination. I mean, there was the two different buildings that you could go in and do interactive things with. Uh, Spaceship Earth, uh, we wrote it for the first time. Now, I will admit the first time that I went on Spaceship Earth, I felt claustrophobic. When we started to travel up through the ball and we were traveling backwards, I kind of freaked out a little bit, but not enough that, you know, I caused any attention to myself but I wasn't sure about Spaceship Earth the first time I got on it. I eventually started to get used to it and it didn't bother me as much as before. When the first time that we went to Epcot they had Horizons, they had, um, I'm looking at uh, notes, the Wonders of Life Pavilion and so we got to see all of that. We got to see like um, the one where you went inside like a person's body I think it was I cannot remember the name of some of these things because it's been so long ago um, but what really did it for us with Epcot honestly was the fact that they had all the different lands that you could visit I grew up going to Busch Gardens Williamsburg so I knew about different lands because Busch Gardens has kind of the same setup and it reminds me of like a different version of like a Magic Kingdom Park. But being able to go to all the different pavilions, I don't know why, but every time we go, we always instantly go to the left. We always go to the Mexican Pavilion first. So we rode the um, ride in Mexico.
Uh, we walked all the way around um, to all the different ones. My favorite is still um, Japan and China. and the United Kingdom. Uh, and I wanna say we took the friendship boat the very first time that we went to Disney and went over to see some of the resorts. Um, we did end up spending a day at downtown Disney and doing some shopping at the big Disney store. That's some, something I always remembered. We did take a, a break halfway through our trip and went to visit my aunt and spent the day with her before going back to Disney, um, to, to Orlando. Um, so we, we packed a lot into that one week of being at Disney World. Uh, we ended our trip with my youngest daughter and I going to the Grand Floridian for breakfast. We went to 1900 Park Fair and that at the time became a really um, must do thing for me. Um, 1900 Park Fair um, was a restaurant that my daughter had chosen that she wanted to go to. So we got to see Alice, we got to see the Mad Hatter I'm trying to remember. I don't think Cinderella was there at the time. I can't remember who the third character was that we got to meet. Oh, Mary Poppins. We got to see Mary Poppins and what, by the time we had finished a week at Disney and by the time we finished our uh, second restaurant um, resort uh, meal at Disney, I was hooked. So what turned, what was supposed to originally have been like a once in a lifetime trip that we would do, would never go back on again ended up turning into a trip that I had to do over again. One other thing that I had forgotten about, about our trip was when we went in 1998, they had fires in Orlando and it could have been throughout Florida, but I remember it was near Orlando because you could smell the smoke and the um, air 
had smoke in it. So like even when you would go across the water to go to Magic Kingdom or go to one of the the uh, Magic Kingdom resorts, it had this haze over it the whole time. And I know for some people it made it like hard for them to breathe because like the smoke was thick. And I remember when we were leaving to go back home and we were on the highway that there was smoke. Like there were areas where you'd be driving by and there'd be like on the side of the road there would be a fire and there would be smoke billowing from the fire. And I remember taking pictures. Another thing when I went back through my scrapbooks is I found some of the pictures that we had taken and I, th those, those fires lasted for days and we could smell it the entire time that we were in Orlando for our trip. Once we had done Disney for the first time, we were already planning on how we could go back to Disney again. Um, it's funny. I had actually thought that I had thrown most of the stuff related to our trip away because I did go through and do a big cleaning. I had used to have this file cabinet that kept everything in. So I used to keep this file cabinet that had all of my trip planning brochures information in. And I still, I found out I still have a lot of the files that has a lot of those old trip reports. But I found a brochure from 1998, which was our very first trip. Um, Cause I think my mom had triple A at the time and they had mapped out like our whole trip for us. I think that's who she went through. I found out, found some of the old printouts of different um, trip reports that I had kept over the years. I even had um, one of the websites I used to go to. We all had kind of like formed a friendship and I have like an old happy birthday to you, Cindy. Um, I printed out that people had said happy birthday to me. Um, I found some of the old maps that I had written. I printed out, like I said, I found my, my old binder and I have a scrapbook that I did from that trip and I'm going to insert, I'm going to insert pictures throughout, um, 1998, like that was a long time ago, but it was the very first trip we ever took. It's a trip that I'll never forget. It, I had the time of my life. I fell in love with Disney after that. I had already loved Disney as a child, but going to Disney like changed everything for me. And I just thought, why not go back and reminisce over some of my trips and share it with you guys? So this is a series that I'm probably not going to do it every month because I don't, I think we've only gone like nine times in a lifetime. It could be a little bit more of that, but I don't think it is. And so Every couple of months, I will sit down and tell you about what our trips were like. At some point, I will have some trips that will have some video to it because um, we did start recording our trips after our first trip in 1998. In 1998, we just took pictures. We didn't take, I don't think we took any videos. And so um, I will share that with you as I, as the trips start to progress. So I hope that you like this video. It's a little different. It's not like a vlog. But I loved reading trip reports and that made me think of maybe doing this as a series. So you'll get one every couple, couple of months or so just to, and some of them will be a little longer because I, as I started to 
do more trips, I started to really write down what we did on those trips and take pictures and do videos of those trips. And so I will be sharing that with you. I hope that you liked that video. I went back down memory lane and it was so much fun. I can't believe that it's been over 20 some years since we went to Disney for the first time. Um, it was memorable. It kind of changed my life because I instantly became even more obsessed with Disney than I ever was before. My children love it. Um, my husband grew to love it. <laughs> so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, especially if you'd like to see more of them. I do have quite a few trips that I can talk about. And I know this is a little different from a vlog, but I really enjoy putting it together. So <clears throat> until I see you the next time, I hope that you have a blessed day. Bye.